decided to move to Siamen University to stay permanently and teach in the Department of Anthropology. My decision to come to Siamen University was based on similarities in our program of my former university. Uh, I have been appointed a visiting professor at Siamen University teaching summer classes. From then, I was asked if I would be interested in joining the faculty. I joined Siamen University faculty. Thanks to the Belt and Road Initiative, uh, the creation of this institution at the University of uh, Siamen University will be an instrument to move forward in that direction. And uh, being a university institution, of course, most of what we do is promote research and open uh, academic exchanges. What will be of interest is also people-to-people -people contact. We have to complement it by the human side of Chinese people building more direct connection with African peoples step by step to create kind of long-lasting relationship that can open different windows in the future. I do think that the Chinese Communist Party really succeeded in creating an administration system that is stable. It was not a straight line because there was always different ways of renegotiating different things in the process. But once the key challenges were solved, one of the key challenges to have been solved is the elimination of famines. And, um, the progressive construction of a health system. So I do think that the Communist Party succeeded in building modern China. And after the opening, things completely took off. And it's a result of where we are now. China is the second economy in the world. And we can say that the management of a country have been uh, more or less coherent in long distance perspective thanks to the strength of what we call also planifications which allow to look far in advance to have directions that help planning and building uh, the future of the country.